In these examples, we are looking at solving equations. An equation tells us that two things are equal. So in the first question, we've got a plus 5 is equal to 12. So a plus 5 is worth the same as 12. When we solve an equation, we work out what an unknown number is. So at the moment, a in the first example is an unknown, and we are going to work out what a is worth. So you can probably tell what a is worth just by looking at it, but I'm going to show you a method for solving equations which will work when they get more complicated. In an equation, because both sides are equal, we can do the same thing to both sides and they will stay equal. So if I want to get a by itself, at the moment I've got a plus 5. So if I take away 5, I'll get a by itself. And if I take away from one side and the other side, the equation will stay equal. So a plus 5 minus 5 gets a by itself. So I've just got a. And 12 minus 5 is 7. So a is equal to 7. For the second one, 12 plus b equals 16. If I take away 12 from both sides, I'll get b by itself. So if I take away 12 from both sides, I've just got b left. So b is equal to 16 minus 12, which is 4. So b is equal to 4. For the third one, I've got c minus 4 equals 9, I can get c by itself by plussing 4. So I'll plus 4 to both sides of the equation. c minus 4 plus 4 is just c, and 9 plus 4 is 13. So c is 13. Okay, I've got three for you to try here, so pause the video and give them a go. Okay, question one. I've got d plus 8 is equal to 20. I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. And that will tell me that d is equal to 20 minus 8, which is 12. For the second one, I'm going to plus 12 to both sides of the equation. So e is equal to 11 plus 12, which is 23. And the third one, I'm going to plus 6 to both sides of the equation. So f is equal to 21. Okay, this time I've got multiplications. So I've still got equations and I'm still solving. So I'm still going to find out what the unknown letter is worth. Here I've got 5t equals 25, and 5t means 5 times t. So we don't write the time sign in algebra. 5t means 5 times t, so 5 times t equals 25. I can still do the same to both sides of the equation. So to get rid of a times by 5, I'm going to divide by 5. So the opposite of times in by 5 is dividing by 5. If I had 10 times 5, and then I divided by 5, I get 10. 10 times 5 is 50, divided by 5 is 10. If I had 4 times 5 divided by 5, 4 times 5 is 20, divided by 5 is 4. So times by 5 and divide by 5 cancel each other out. So if I divide both sides by 5, so 5 times t divided by 5 is just t, and 25 divided by 5 is 5. So t equals 5. For question 2, I'm going to divide both sides by 7 to get h by itself. So h is equal to 28 over 7, which is 4. And for question 3, 
I'm going to divide both sides by 4 to get P by itself. So 44 over 4 is 11. So P equals 11. Okay, 3 for you to try. So have a go at these now. Okay, question 1. So 9K equals 90. To get K by itself, divide both sides by 9. So K equals 10. 3F equals 24. To get F by itself, divide both sides by 3. So F equals 24 over 3 is 8. And question 3. 2V equals 50. To get V by itself, divide both sides by 2. 20, 50 over 2 is 25. So V equals 25. Okay, another set of examples. So this time we have divisions. The first question says A divided by 5 equals 6. The opposite of dividing is timesing. So to get A by itself, I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. So if I multiply both sides by 5, I get A by itself. And A is equal to 6, 6 times 5, which is 30. For question 2, B divided by 6 equals 9. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 6 which will get b by itself, and b is 9 times 6, which is 54. And for the third one, c divided by 3 equals 7. So if I multiply both sides by 3, I'll get c equals 21. Okay, 3 for you to try, so pause the video and give them a go. Question 1, we've got t divided by 2 equals 20. So multiply both sides by 2. And we get t is equal to 40. For the second one, p divided by 4 equals 8. So multiply both sides by 4. And that gives us p equals 32. And the third one h over 7 equals 10. So if we multiply both sides by 7, we get h equals 70. Okay, one more set of examples. This time we've got negative numbers involved in the questions. So the first one says r plus 10 equals 4. So if you get r by itself, I want to subtract 10 from both sides. So if I take 10 away from both sides, r plus 10 take away 10 is just r. And 4 take away 10, 4 take away 10 is negative 6. Question 2, we've got d take away 9 is equal to negative 3. To get D by itself, I want to plus 9 to both sides. The opposite of taking away 9 is adding 9. So that gets D by itself. And D is equal to negative 3 plus 9, which is 6. And question 3, 4P equals negative 20. So 4 times p, p times 4, equals negative 20. To get p by itself, we do the opposite of times in by 4, which is dividing by 4. So we divide both sides by 4. So p is equal. So a negative divided by a positive is negative, And 20 over 4 is 5. OK, 3 for you to try. So have a go at these ones. For the first one, we've got k plus 14 equals 9. To get rid of a plus 14, we're going to subtract 14 from both sides. So we've got k by itself. 
and that's equal to 9 minus 14, which is negative 5. Question 2. F take away 8 equals negative 7. So to get F by itself, we're going to plus 8 to both sides. So F is negative 7 plus 8, which is 1. And question 3, H divided by 2 equals negative 4. The opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, which will get me H is equal to negative 4 times 2, which is negative 8. Okay, let's finish up with three questions. So pause the video and give them a go. Question one, a plus 17 equals 20. So to get a by itself, at the moment I've got 17 added onto it. The opposite of adding 17 is taking away 17. So I take away 17 from both sides. So that gives me a is equal to 20 minus 17, which is 3. Question 2. We've got b take away 10 equals 32. If I plus 10 to both sides, I'll get b by itself. And 32 plus 10 is 42. So b is 42. And the third one, c times 7 equals negative 77. So to get C by itself, divide both sides by 7. So C is negative 77 divided by 7. A negative divided by a positive is negative, And 77 over 7 is 11.